What's up YouTube and all you Warcraft and RTS fans? Um, today, tonight is the first night of newbie Warca uh, Warcraft casting. So I'm gonna try and cast some gym matches. So this is between clan members of the gym clan. Uh, I guess they're mostly pretty active in Europe, but they do have, um, you know, uh, players from all over the world. So this is the, just a skirmish match or a scrimmage or, you know, a practice match between two of the players. I don't know what the respective team is for the team league is, but um, this is something from like a couple days ago or, or, or late, late last week. So um, this is pretty much my attempt to cast. So let's go ahead and uh, let's jump into these games and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So let me go ahead and uh, let's get this game up and let us begin. All right, so here at the uh, top right, at I believe at the two o'clock position, it is the turquoise orc. Hindsight twenty twenty, and here at the bottom left corner, it's going to be at the eight o'clock position is the red human. Um, I'm going to mispronounce his name, but it's uh, Ray Cram. So uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on. So it looks like they're not. Uh, red Cram's not opting for the norm, uh, standard human build build order so he's not building anything at the moment um just go ahead and trying to um i guess just really just building a bunch of peasants and here we go at the orc at the corn to give me high five they are doing a current orc standard opener you got your altar you got your barracks and you got your orc burrow which respects the humans the altar of I believe is heroes kings gods uh, you know something like that and then the barracks and then the farm here so here we go. Let's go ahead, going straight into the uh, to the lumber here to get stack up those resources. Going for the blade master, a very popular and probably standard opening from orc players to go for blade master and harass or uh, typically harass the human player as soon as they can. And here we go with Red Cram going ahead and building his the uh, his building here is trying to get his wall up and our wall up before the blade master can come on time. So let's go ahead and see how this plays out. Oh, it's going for a fast blacksmith. Let's see, is he going for a fast, fast rifleman? Going for a really fast tech, getting upgrades, plus one footsman. Uh, to be honest, I did watch this game. I just do not remember what happened. Blade Master is almost out. The Archmage, or oh, not going for the Archmage. Going for the Paladin. Very interesting um, choice of play here. Right. Blade Master's out. Let's so to go in and see, see what he does. Orc is doing something pretty standard. Oh, going in for the up. Nope. Sold one of his items to get a circlet of nobility. Getting plus strength with warrant. Okay, so this is going to be a very. Ooh, just gonna, if he can get in here and harass, it's going to do a lot of damage. But here we go. Here's the uh, fast rifleman that he's going for. The Blade Master. Oh, he's still in the camp right outside of the human's base. And here comes the Grunt Scout, but he is going to see that he has got Riflemen pretty early in the game. He's going to try to see if he's going to do damage, but the Paladin's out. Paladin's going to do some work. Probably going to get rid of this the Grunt, try to get some experience points. Or not. But these Riflemen, if they can chase, they can probably just get that as fast as he can. Blade Master with a couple creep kills. Go ahead and run back home. So, uh, Red Cramp probably notices that the uh, Smiths and some creeps on here. One's coming back, she's able to see that. Oh no, he's getting attacked. But these Red Femmes should be able to pick it up. But uh, to be honest, this, he should be able to pick this up fairly quick. No need for militia. Paladin's tanking very nice. Very nicely here. Blade Master is doing the same thing, creeping with just a grunt and himself. So the uh, Blade Master is fa uh, fairly, very strong. Um, in terms of a 1v1 early game between both heroes, the Blade Master, even if he's he has uh, three militias and then maybe an Archmage, the Blade Master will come on top. But let's see what's gonna happen right here. Oh, okay. He knows that some of these forest trolls are just you know walking back this way, so he probably noticed that there's something weird going on. There we go. He sees that this, this is weird. Oh, he goes invisible, gets to level two, and he's gonna run away before dying. But. Red Cram's gonna go ahead and clean this up just uh, fairly easily. Trying to get level 2 as well. Another Orc Bro, building some more Grunts. The Vue's Lounge is open as well. No second hero from both players, but they are. Uh, the Orc player is 
tanking up to the tier 2 as well, as well as Rekram. So let's see what Hindsight's gonna do up here. He does have another open camp here, so he does uh, lay a grunt there. Will he take that? Now he's building up his uh, very high rifleman count, as you can see here. He's taking all these creeps and the riflemen do all the work. And here he goes. Grabbing the creep. Very nice, very nice. Let's go back and see what's going on down here. Building a more farm, already has his upgraded tower. It's still tearing up, uh, still taking up the tier 2. Barracks is producing more riflemen. The paladin's out. Going to the tavern. Will he get a second hero? Well, we can't even get a second hero yet. It's not even tier 2. Blade Master's on the move. And here we go. Oh, they spot each other. Will they go commit for this fight or not? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna lose a rifleman. Oh, here we go. Here comes the fight. He's gonna lose that rifleman. Oh, nice heals from the paladin. Oh, he's got two claws of attack, rings of protection, as well as scroll of speed and healing save, uh, salve. As well, the paladin only has a TP and the uh, the mantle of intelligence. He might be able to sneak off this this kill with the uh, the blade master if he focus fire with the um with the rifleman. But he does no, he does not have a TP, but he does have a healing save. So don't know if it's gonna hit right on time. But let's see, let's see what happens. Oh, look at him trying to get one of these kills one at a time. This blade master is hardcore. Look at him. He ain't gonna run away. Oh, he's running away now. I I take that back. But these grunts may lose it. Ooh, he has got a Torin. That's the second Blade's hero. Let's see what. Oh, and the Blood Mage. Ooh, okay, interesting play from Red Cram. Ooh, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! I'm grabbing this uh, Forest Roll High Priest. So these you can get from the um, mercenary camps. I don't believe there is a merc. Oh, there is. There's one down here. He can able to grab uh, these Troll Priests to heal them. From a mercenary camp. Uh, very good starting early, uh, mainly because you can get some early heals if you would do some early harass, some sort of pressure while building up, while taking up to your priests. But in the meantime, he has got riflemen's. Build another farm down here, and as well as getting arcane. No arcane sanctum just yet, so no um, healing priests anytime soon. He does have two two heroes coming down, level one. Torrent. Let's see, he's producing more grunts. Voodoo Lounge. Are under and the Torrent Torrent. Oh, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Pretty, pretty basic as of right now. Just creeping. And... Did he buy any items with the Red Mage? Red Mage, no. Paladins. Got a TP and a Wand of Illusion. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, they might meet in the middle here. Oh, will they? Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. They're meeting. One of them a fog of war looks like. Okay. So they're committed to his attack. The Turan trying to do some work. Blood mage. Oh, that the blood mage leveled up. Guess he just got heals. Spirit walker is doing work. Paladin is do some work. This Blood Mage might go down. He needs to TP out. Oh no, there's the heal. Very nice heals, but the Torin might die. No, he runs. But the Blood Mage, though, he's still low on health. Let's see. Oh, Blade Master got in for the kill. Fairly quick. That's gonna be really good experience for both uh, both heroes here. He's gonna go ahead and try to pick off one of these riflemen one at a time. These grunts gonna tank. This Blade Master's going in for the kill. Oh, he is invisible. He's gonna try and steal the Paladin. If he can just one hit- Oh no! He needs to TP out or else he's gonna lose- Oh, there it is! There's a TP! We might as well just try and take some riflemen. Oh, there we go. Good deal, good deal. Or Pretty much in the lead at this point. Forty-three, uh, 43 supply versus the 41. So let's go ahead and see, uh... What's going on here? <coughs> Put back in the fog of war so you can see each other here. All right, gonna, is he gonna try and camp the mercenary camp? All right, all right mercenary. Uh, no, I guess that makes sense. All right. 
creeping the mercenary camp. Will he go in here and try to get a mercenary? Let's go see what they're taking. No tech 3 just yet. Upgrades for the um, reinforced leather armor. Let's see if... Oh, skin more torrents. Let's see where his army's at. No upgrades yet. So the upgrades are gonna come pretty quick for, for the human player. Ooh, the rifleman's already up 2-1. Two, two, so they're just gonna have the army advantage here. Alright. So let's see what hindsight's gonna do. He, I think he sees that he's gonna run away. Very, very good, because he is low on health on the Spirit Walker, as well as... Ooh. The Blade Master's going in. Is he scouting or he's gonna try and poke? Right, he's just running. Good thing there's no scans. Oh, see, so he probably would have been circled and died. But well, here we go. <clears throat> Red Cram going in for the kill. Will he go in for the kill right here? Losing one hero out of this whole fight. Level 3 and a level 2 Blood Mage versus a level 2 Torrent as well as a level 3 Blade Master. Alright, here we go. Okay, here comes the fight. Heal's going down. Rifleman in the front. Oh, in the back, I'm sorry. Paladin's gonna tank this. Heal's going down. Ooh, stuns from the turret. Now they're running away. I don't believe he has any extra TPs. He has a scroll of healing, so if he loses all any of his heroes, he is a goner for he is a goner here. Oh, level up from the blade master. Level four. Oh, here comes another stun! What's he going for? Is he focusing fire the blood mage? Oh wow. Oh no, he's going straight he's going straight for the paladin. He needs to stop those heals from the paladins. Oh, nice heals. 2-2 two, two versus zero, 0-1. So the army advantage in terms of um upgrades is gonna be favored towards the human side. He needs to back up with these he's losing these grunts. He needs to back up and these spirit workers are gonna go down as well. And here comes another heals. So the only thing he has left is these two, is these, uh, his Tauren hero, as well as his Blade Master. His Blade Master is still alive, so let's see what's going to happen here. <laughs> oh, these Riflemen is in the lead. Oh, looks like um, Hindsight's going to have a bad time. Where is he going? Running in circles. But here we go. He's going to go ahead and focus on these Orc, uh, orc Bros. Try to force them to be uh, supply blocked here. And he's doing he's doing a significant amount of damage here. He's probably gonna be supply blocked. Oh, here we go. He's going in again. If he can stop this and build back those orc barrels and try to build more grunts, should uh, be ahead because then his all his army is gonna be gone. I don't think he's gaining expansion just yet. Oh no, the torn falls. It looks like this is gonna be game for hindsight. But the Blade Master is doing work. If he loses, oh, full, almost technically full heals from there. But he's gonna try to get rid of this Blood Mage. He is not scared of these Riflemen. This is why Blade Masters are so ballsy. Oh, look at him. He's gonna run away. Oh, oh, nice heals. Spirit uh, Torrens on the move. Let's see what he's got. Oh, oh. He's gonna lose his Voodoo Launch. Hindsight needs to go in. What? Well, no, nah, no, I take that back. He does not need to go in. He only has the, these peons there, not doing really anything. But he needs to go back or else he's going to lose his own Blade Master. He's going in. Oh. He's going to... Oh, if he loses Barracks, uh, that's essentially game. Because that's like his only um, unit building. Oh, but he's going in. He's going to try and sneak a kill off the zone. Oh, yeah, he's going to lose this. This, this is going to be a GG. There's no way he's gonna come back from this. He's got a uh, Torin left. He's going in with the Blade Master right in the middle. He's gonna lose more Orc Burrows. Uh, uh, oh, his Soren Chieftain's gonna come back and he might die. Oh no, he's going in. This is last stand. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, full heals from the blood for the Blood Mage. Not gonna make it, son. Your Blade Master is gonna die. And there it is. And there's the GG. Wow. So yeah, that that is the end of those matches, or that that one match versus uh, Red Cram, Ray Cram, Ray, Ray Cram. Yeah, versus Hindsight 2020. So I guess post game analysis here. I don't have a replay 
are you know like a highlight section of the replays here. But um, so you guys, as you guys saw, this is uh, just a couple, uh, just a skirmish match, just two players in the same clan just playing a game against each other. And for anybody who plays normal humans, such as myself, you notice the uh, the start and build order from Requiem was a little unorthodox in terms of something standard. Um, you would see uh, like an altar going down very quickly, like in the first like five seconds, and then after that you follow up with a farm and barracks and another farm, and then you either build a tower or don't, and then go straight into lumber, and then the build order will transition from there. But he opted in for a fast fast blacksmith getting um, riflemen instead of footmen and then just um, just keeping his guard down making sure he didn't lose a lot of the units early game before going in for that final push which we saw towards the end and then the orc player uh, hindsight 2020 played his, uh, play, uh, played a standard orc game played very very aggressively going into their camps for red Cran's camps um, trying to creep jack a lot if he could um, both teched around the same time um, Rekram had the better army advantage, like I said earlier, with the upgrades. And then after that, once um, once Rekram went up towards the Hindsight's base and just you know took out his Voodoo Lounge as well as Orc Bros, preventing probably preventing um, Hindsight from building any more units to defend. And uh, yeah, that's where it ended. Oh, and we also saw um, the Blood Mage get knocked out very early, so that was that was good, good from Rekram. But yeah. That is my testing cast. Welcome to Newbie Warcraft Casting. Hope you guys enjoy this. I will cast live matches during Wednesdays for Work Wednesday. Other than that, um, yeah, hope you guys have fun and peace.